Hi guys, it's Karen from T-Mobile Sales Engineering. I've had a few questions of late where somebody wanted to know how we can create custom reports and then have those reports delivered to them in their email on a scheduled basis. So specifically speaking, the use case is for a fleet manager where they want every morning to get an email that shows them a mileage report of all of their vehicles, the start and stop times, and the locations where those vehicles have traveled uh, the previous day. So with T-Mobile Sync Up Fleet, powered by Geotab, uh, we really have the ability with the very powerful engine that we have to really provide this type of information very easily. To do that, you simply go to administration. Once you're in the portal, go to administration, reports, go to report views, in here, we have a list of built-in reports that, um, that is available for, for you. Uh, for the most part, anything that you want to report on, you can probably find it in, in uh, that information in any one of these reports. I would highly recommend that you spend a few minutes browsing through the available templates and, and checking them out to see what kind of information it collects. I know from from um, experience that the trip detail report will give you information on um, mileage. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to T. This is actually in alphabetical order. I'm gonna go OPQR T, trip detail report. So here you have two options. You can either preview what the trip detail report looks like, or you can download an Excel spreadsheet of exactly that report. I'm gonna go ahead and preview it just so we have a good idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna to go to options, and then this basically tells you, you know, the options that you want this report to be displayed. I'll just show it for today, and then I'll do okay. It's gonna take a few minutes to, for it to pull all of that information so that it can be displayed on this, uh, on this browser for me. So you have to be a little bit of patience, have a little bit of patience. Okay, so there you go. So it has the device, the the, uh, the group that the device belongs in, the name of the device, the, the driver that's associated with that device, the start date and stop date, how long it took to drive from, from there to there, the distance that it drove, the amount of time that it stopped, the location, uh, the zone that it's in, and the maximum speed. Hey, that's a pretty good report. For the most part has everything I want but maybe I want to modify some of this so I can actually download this report click on the Excel spreadsheet it's going to take a few minutes for that information to download onto a Excel spreadsheet give it a second here Once it downloads it, I should be able to modify this Excel spreadsheet into any uh, format that I, that I want. There you go, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Excel spreadsheet to get a better view of exactly what um, what 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 you know what information is collected? So I don't care about the, the device. I only care about the first name and last name of the driver. So I can delete this. Oops! I gotta enable editing. Excuse me. I can delete this. I don't care about the device. I don't care about the device group. I care about the first name. Uh, well, maybe I just care about the first, the driver. Delete. And I don't care about the group that the driver belongs in. Delete. Start driving, stop, distance, stop duration. I don't care about the stop duration. Delete. I just care about the distance, right, and the location. Everything else I don't really care about, say. Delete. So this is all the information that I really want delivered, right? The driver, the start, the driving duration, the stop, the distance, and the location. So this is it. Save as. Save it on my desktop so I can find it very easily. I'm going to call this daily
daily mileage report. Okay, save that, exit out of there. And now I want to basically um, uh, create automation for it to be emailed to me every single day. So emailed reports, go to reports, emailed reports. And here's the custom reports that have been created to be emailed to me. So I have a beta test, David 3 test basically. This D David 3 test is gonna be emailed every day um, to, to a specified email address. Babic test has a dashboard view as well as a, a, an email option. So all I have to do now is add my file, click, and then daily mileage report. Just click on that. It's going to upload, and then it's going to immediately dump me to the email report tab. It says, do you want to email this? Yes, I do want to email this. You can specify who you want to email to. So you can email to everybody in the company that's for everybody listed, which is 51 users. I don't want to do that, but typically you want to create a uh, maybe a, a group that is for fleet managers, and then you can send um, this email to all of your fleet managers. But in this case, I'm just gonna send this email report just to me, karen.chan at tmobile.com. Only one user will receive this report. I want this report in Excel. I want it for um, you know, today. I want it to run daily, but you can also specify um, if you want it to be a weekly report, every two weeks, every four weeks, and, uh, and, and whatever. And then the next report you want it to run basically tomorrow at, uh, um, at 11 o'clock. And basically save this. And you've just created a custom email report to be sent to you every day starting tomorrow. I'm gonna to share with you, I have a, a test that I've, uh, one of the tests that I've set, set up, the BABIC test basically. Here it is, um, this is what it would come in as my email from notification sender at mysyncupfleet.com. You'll see the attached Excel spreadsheet that contains all of the data which you can then you know, parse or piv use pivot table sort or whatever you need to do with that data and then a quick preview with the, embedded within the email of what that report will look like. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you found this video to be useful. If you like it, please like my video um, and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Thank you and have a great day.